Hey everyone, this is Cardia. Thank you for clicking onto my video. This is my first kind of clip of, I guess, into my life. I'm gonna be just answering a few of your questions that I've been asked about Love Island, myself, and just, I guess, a little bit more about me. So yeah, let's just get into it, I guess. There's a lot of questions. Closest friend since being in the villa was Anna. Anna is my best friend in the villa and she's absolutely amazing, so I do love her. Have you spoken to Adam after Love Island? Yes, I have spoken to Adam. Me and Adam are just friends. We are, we do text back and forth, but I have yet to see him since coming out of the villa. Could you have seen a future with Adam? Yeah, at some point I could have seen a future with him, but um, the door was closed and now we're just friends. Next question. <laughs> Was it weird showering in the villa? Yes. Holy sugar. I am such a reserved person. I was going into the villa for my first day and seeing that the showers had no doors. I was like, sorry. <laughs> Where's my shower? Like, this is not good. But after a week, we kind of got used to it. So we just made sure that the boys were nowhere near the showers while we were in there. Did you ever get very bored in the villa and what would you do in your spare time? So there were certain points in the day where we would get absolutely bored as hell. We would literally just sit there talking smack, talking, we'd either be jumping in the pool, pulling faces, or literally absolutely nothing. I don't know what I can say for what we did in the villa. Are you or Jesse dating Owen? No, neither of, neither of us are dating Owen. Owen is single, I am single, and Jesse is with Todd. So we're all just good mates. What made you decide to break with Matt? My decision to end things with Matt was just purely because coming out of the villa, it's a whole different world. Um, I just realized that I couldn't give him 100%. So um, I'm not here to waste time and I'm not here to waste his time. And unfortunately, um, things just didn't work out with me and Matt. What made you decide to go blonde? You look stunning, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, I just thought like my hair was looking pretty rough on television and I needed to fix it up. So I went to the hairdressers and it was either gonna go, I was either gonna go back really dark chocolate brown or I'd keep it light for summer. And I went with the light for summer. Why did you not stick with Jared at the start? You two looked great together. Jared is sick, I love him, but you know, for the first two days, I just found myself not even talking to him for the whole day in the villa. I wasn't even looking back to see where he was. Like, we were good mates, but I just didn't really have that spark to talk to him in that way. So, um, we just realized that, that that kind of like connection wasn't there between us. Did you expect to get that far in the villa? No. <laughs> I literally told my dad, I'll see you in two weeks. I packed for one week. So I did myself dirty and I didn't pack enough clothes, but that's okay, all the girls shared their dresses. Give what me. was the first impression of your family when you told them you were entering the show? <laughs> Okay, that's a funny one. I remember when I first applied for the show, the next day, my dad comes home and I was literally just like, Dad, I've got to tell you something. <laughs> like, I did something. But just listen, okay? Bear with me. I was like, I applied for Love Island last night and he was just like, not having it. Not happy one bit. He's like, Cardia, what are you doing? Like, you're so silly. You're so stupid. Both my brothers were just laughing at me going, oh, ha, like, you're an idiot basically and then kind of each stage every step of the way when I actually started to get closer and closer to I guess being a cast member of the um, show my family's got so much more excited for me so the very first um, time I told them no I'm not having it but by the end that was so thrilled for me so it was good I've got to ease them into it you know Croatians need to be eased into it what is a deal breaker for you in a relationship other than not supporting your religion um, so a deal breaker other than um, sharing the same religion would probably be trust and honesty. Like if you don't have any trust or honesty, like what kind of relationship are you having? It's all about communication as well. So it's kind of a three. How do you manage to prepare your outfits before going to Love Island? I did not. I was hopeless. I am actually a girl that lives in like jeans, sneakers. I do love a pretty dress, but I did not have any cocktail dresses. I'm so summery. And I was like, oh no, I do not have anything like cocktail wise. Like I don't go out at night. I don't have dresses. I don't have nightwear dresses. So I kind of struggled a little bit. And um, luckily I had like Isabel, Margarita, Cassie, they all shared their clothes. So shout out to you girls. Oh, and Anna, they all had really good taste. What was the hardest part of being in the villa for you? The hardest part probably for me being in the villa would be uh, like, Two things was not actually getting to go to church or being able to listen to my worship music. 
I really struggled with those two because like when I obviously got into my down times and like obviously the word and everything just brings me back and not being with my dad and my brothers. So I really struggled not hearing their voice, not getting their hugs and not like getting to hear that they love me. Um, I struggled with that a lot. But, you know, I had Anna in the villa, so she really helped me get through it. Which guy were you closest to in the villa? Friends, not romantically. So I was actually closest with a lot of the boys, but in like different ways. I loved every single one of them. My probably closest was probably Adzi, Owen, and Matt. And then obviously in time, like then I got close with Josh, I got close with Luke, and I got close with Blake. So I was quite close with all of the guys in the villa. Describe yourself in three words. Weird, um... Weird, cheeky, and sweet. Was your dad cool with you being on Love Island? <laughs> um, at the start, he was not a fan. Was not a fan at all. Um, my dad, obviously protective. He didn't even know what the show was. He actually thought Love Island was kind of Geordie Shore style. I was like, no, it's literally Big Brother, but romance more, like more romance in it. My dad wasn't happy with it at the start. But um, as I got closer and closer to, I guess, the finish line of the applications, um, he did start to get happy for me. And when I found out that I got onto the show, he was so thrilled. He actually, um, a little insight, my dad actually got me onto the show, I guess, in the end. Like, I was having panic attacks, like, a week before going on. Like, my flight was on the Saturday. And I was, like, thinking about it a week before going on. I was like, Dad, I can't do this. Am I ready to show myself to the world? Like... I don't know if we're ready for this. Dad, I love you so much. Like, I can't do this. Like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to jeopardize any friendships. I don't want to ruin what I have at church. Like, so I was freaking out. And my dad just gave me the biggest hug and said, Cardia, like, you need to do this. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So, yeah, thanks, Dad. <laughs> thanks, Dennis. Who out of your family had the most concerns about Love Island? Oh, my family? My dad probably had the biggest concerns because he knows that I'm like a little softy and I don't do the dating life, I never have. So going into an environment where I'm supposed to obviously put myself out there to numerous amount of guys, my dad was worried for me because that's not the kind of person I am. He was scared that I was gonna get hurt. He was scared that being in a villa with like girls as well, um, that they were gonna be bitchy and nasty to me. So my dad had all of these concerns. What's the process of getting onto Love Island? Was it hard? or easy. Also, you're stunning. Thank you. Um, so the process of getting on Love Island, it's actually pretty, it's easy, but it's a long road. So I first applied, like it was literally just a sponsored ad that came up on my Instagram feed. And I was like, <laughs> and it was like 12 a.m. And I was like, sure, I applied. Um, and then it was like very lengthy though. So there was about, I think, six stages of the Love Island application process. Um, but it did, um, oh, my phone's dying. So it was a very long process. It was six stages. Um, and for each stage, it's take about a month to get back. So it wasn't very like flickety flick. They did obviously take their time in picking their cast. What's your favorite chocolate? My favorite chocolate, I have two. So it will either be the Cadbury hazelnut chocolate or the Ferrero Rocher. So, you know, if you wanna buy me some chocolate, that's the way to go. Were you worried you wouldn't get along with people in the villa? I was stressed. I was stressed to the max. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm an introverted person. I don't really hang out so much with so many people. I usually stick with like my group of friends, which is about five people. I'm gonna have to be getting to know people. I'm gonna have to be in a house with them. And what if I don't like them? Like I can't escape them. I was stressed to the max. I know that I am kind of a guys girl. I hang out with guys. I have brothers, you know what I mean? It's just what I feel most comfortable with. So being in a house, full of girls as well kind of scared me but they're all so sweet they're so lovely and I'm actually so grateful for the friendships that I've walked out with I couldn't imagine that I'd meet such an amazing group of people um Anna is definitely my best friend I'm so grateful for her she really <laughs> Anna kept me sane in the villa so if you saw me being all sweet and everything and nice and like calm I was freaking out a bit there was a few times in the villa where I was stressing and Anna kind of kept me down she kept me complacent and she's like, look, Cardia, you're doing a good job. Like, it's okay, just breathe. So praise to Anna because otherwise I would have been as stressed as everyone else in the villa. Do you and all the Islanders get along or are you just pretending? 
No, we actually all got along. We actually had such a good group this year. I know last years were a bit, um, hey, how's it going with all the drama? And I know that a few of them hated each other. But this year's um, season, we actually all really liked each other. Obviously, um, a few personalities did clash in the villa. But at the end of the day, we're all adults. So, you know what I mean? Like we're living in a house full of people. Um, you sort of got to respect each other. And I guess that's what we did. Best memories on Love Island. So my actual best memories is what wouldn't have got aired. It was when it would have been so late in the night and all of us would just be in a bedroom and we're just literally laughing, chatting pure rubbish and just giggling. And <laughs> so this is so funny and it's so weird. So <laughs> we, there would, the boys would do this thing like they'd always be farting in the villa, especially at night. So I'd be laying there. Adam would be next to me and then he'd be like, just one sec. I'd be like, okay, sure. And then he'd literally just pull his ass up. <laughs> this is so funny. He'd literally just pull his ass up, fart, and then he'd scream out, tune. And then all the boys, it would like trigger the boys. And then you'd get Owen farting. You'd get, um, who, else? who was bad? Josh was pretty bad. Adam was not happy with it. Josh had the biggest tunes and then Adam would kind of just like get up and like orchestrate the farts. <laughs> it was so crazy. All the girls hated it. I was the only one that would laugh at their farts. And then the girls had like this stand where they're like, this needs to stop because I cannot breathe. So that was probably one of the funniest memories in the house when the guys were all farting. There we go. That is all the questions. So thank you for um, tuning in. Um, I hope you guys liked it and got a bit of an insight on my experience on Love Island. I did love it. I enjoyed it so much. Um, what 19 year old can say that they went on a reality TV show. So thank you so much. I love and appreciate you all. Um, give me some love, subscribe at the bottom and um, I'll, I'll see you guys next week.